What's going on guys? Dane, Dane's Great Journey, checking back in with another video. I know it's been a little bit of time since the last one. I know I say that a lot, but we got a video. I am wanting to make something since it's November and we're getting closer to January and this being a channel around personal development, me sharing the journey of my career, the things I learn, the books I read. I thought I'd make a video today just to talk about 2020 planning. I've talked about this before in the past, so I wanted to make another video in terms of setting up goals, things that you want to accomplish for 2020. Before we get into that though, how's 2019 been? Have you hit any of the goals that you've set your, for yourself in 2019? Have you missed some? I'm sure you've done a little bit of both and that's totally normal. I've definitely missed some of the goals that I've shot out for 2019, but I've also hit some of the goals of 2019. I've learned a lot and I think in my last video as well that I made on planning for the next year, I talked about, or it might be in the podcast on Young, Wild, and Rich, I talk about really reflecting on the previous year, the good, the bad, what you want to improve upon, what experiences you created in terms of did you meet new people, did you travel anywhere, did you start something new, did you get a new job, what, what, what has happened since getting that new job or meeting that new person that's been great for you because again, we can t we tend uh, to focus on a lot of the things that happen in our life that aren't good. And I think you should definitely try to find an equal balance in the things that are good as well too, just because there are always gonna be things that are difficult and challenging that come up, but you also wanna bring up all the good things that have happened. And even if you didn't hit any of your goals this year, I'm sure you've gone through some experience that's been beneficial to your life. I'm sure you've met at least one person. I. And again, when I, mean, when I mean meet one person, I don't mean a significant other. It could be just a friend. It could be a coworker. It could be a colleague. It could be a new boss. So there are events and experiences that I want you to pull out and write and reflect on uh, for 2019 because in order to figure out what you want to do for 2020, it's always good to look back at 2019 and the adjustments that you need to make. So do that first. I always do that as well too. I ask myself what went well this year, what was challenging this year, what experiences did I create, what goals did I hit, uh, any type of KPIs or metrics that you track for yourself. I'm a big proponent of tracking, if you know me at all, and um, I, that's, I think that's extremely important. So let's talk about 2020. I don't wanna make this video too long, but a couple tips, a couple things I do, and maybe some things that can help you as you start to think about 2020. First, I would definitely start thinking about 2020 now. Don't wait till January 1 to start planning, what am I gonna do this year? It's always good to get ahead of it, and maybe you can start working towards some of the goals that you have for yourself for 2020 in 2019. Whoa! What a crazy thought. <laughs> so let's start thinking about that now. It's November. You might be watching this in December. You might be watching this in January. It, whatever you're watching it, get a piece of paper, get a journal out. Let's start thinking about that. What I like to do is I like to define a goal in every single area of my life that I'm looking to improve upon or that I want to grow within. So I like to define a goal for my fitness and nutrition. I like to define a goal for my social relationships. I like to define a goal for my career and my job, the things that I want to do, the things that I want to try to manifest in my job. I also like to do a goal for the passion projects and side businesses I work on with my friends, the things that I want to create there. And then I also talk about anything that I want to experience. So maybe that might be going to a workshop. I know I did a video, a YouTube video on going to unleash the power within. That was a goal that I had for 2019 in terms of, well, actually, I think that was in 2018. Time flies by so fast. That was in 2018. So I put a goal in 2018 to go to a Unleash the Power Within event, and that's from an experience uh, goal perspective. So I was able to do that. In 2019, I made a goal, and again, experiential goal. Not every goal has to be achievement related or a, I have to produce some type of result. Um, it could be in terms of education, learning experiences is just as important as anything else that you want to do in your life, especially if you want to, if you want to create a skill around a specific area. So for 2019, I went to a workshop by the gentleman's name, Dr. John D. Martini. He has a book called The Values Factor. Highly recommend it. It was the most impactful book I read in 2019. And it was amazing. So that was a goal I had for 2019. Just what what workshop am I gonna go go to? I figured it out about four months ago, but I still made that happen before, before the end of the year. So you can create an experience goal. Maybe it's, hey, I wanna travel to a state I haven't been 
in 2019. I want to go to New York. I haven't been to New York yet. Uh, a thing I wanted to do for 2019 too with uh, my work was travel more. I got I doubled the amount of travel that I did the previous year. I've been able to go to New York, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Boston, areas I've never been. So that was amazing for me as well too. I had fitness goals that I wanted to hit that I was able to hit. I had podcast related goals because I have a podcast called Young, Wild, and Rich. Certain amount of episodes I wanted to record, hit that. Had certain financial goals, amount of savings I wanted to hit. Uh, acquire or income I wanted to produce in my job above and beyond what I did last year that I hit. So there's things that you can set up for yourself, but I would, I would, I would suggest, or I would recommend, and again, you can take this for however level you want to do it for yourself, setting up a goal in each area of your life that you're looking to improve upon. Or if you think that's too much and you're new to goal setting, set up one to two goals that you can do for 2020 that are in different areas of your life. One might be fitness related, one might be career related. One might be, I want to get a job that I absolutely love in 2020. Awesome, write that down. And then I would also ask you, what am I going to need to do to make that happen? And write 20 answers. I know it's a lot of work, but in order to create something that's a little bit uh, outside of your comfort zone or something that might stretch you a little bit, ask yourself a question because the quality of your questions determine the quality of your life. You ask yourself better questions, you get better answers that help you actually go out and make those things happen. So write 20 answers. Well, I'm going to look and write down 20 different careers that I can go and that I can go apply for every single week. Boom, that's one of the 20 things. I'm going to reach out to every single person in my network who might know of a job opportunity or a person in that job opportunity that I want to get in. That's two. So you see what I mean? The quality of your questions determine the quality of your life. A lot of people actually ask really disempowering questions like, how am I ever going to find a job that I love? And these are just questions that might happen subconsciously or unconsciously too. When you go through your day, we think about 82,000 thoughts a day. So not all of them are going to be positive and that's completely fine. We're not supposed to be positive people all the time. We're supposed to be positive and not positive. It's life. You're never going to just be one way. So I'd write down those questions. Every year I like to create a theme for my year. Again, I just wanna share with you all the different strategies I do. So every year I like to create a theme. One of the years was get uncomfortable. Another year it was acceleration in everything that I'm doing. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. If you know me personally, I'm a, I got a high motor. I got a lot of energy. I like to wake up early and just get to work and go, go, go. So that was the theme that year. This year I'm still thinking about the theme that I wanna create. And I think it's gonna be around um, learning and teaching, because that's something I really like to do. I like to share the things. That's why I have Dane's Great Journey, Young, Wild, and Rich too, the podcast. So it's gonna be around that. Stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna make a video about my experience going to this workshop, The Breakthrough Experience by Dr. John D. Martini. That'll be the next video that comes out. I did it on Unleash the Power Within. You can check that out on this podcast. I, podcast. I've been podcasting so much and not doing enough of these. I sometimes get them mixed up. But I'm gonna do a video on that. I know I did a video on Unleash the Power Within. I'll do a video on the breakthrough experience. My takeaway is what I thought about it as well. Another thing I do is I do a stretch goal. And the stretch goal is it's a personal challenge to myself that is gonna stretch me a little bit a little bit to do it. And the reason I like to create stretch goals is it pushes you a little bit and it makes you a little bit uncomfortable and it just gives you the ability to kind of work a little bit harder in every year. So one year it was, I didn't drink for six months. One year it was three day fast. Never fasted ever in my life. It literally changed like that three days. And I have a YouTube video about it too. So you can check that out. That that three days literally shaped how I look at eating and nutrition. I fast about 16 to 18 hours Monday through Friday. And it's been a game changer for me in my fitness and nutrition. And that was a goal I set. That was a stretch goal I set in 2018. I believe that was when I did the three-day fast. It was a game changer. Actually, it might have been 2017. So mixing up the years, but a lot of gold, a lot of things. And again, don't beat yourself up if you didn't hit your goal for 2019. If you have a couple goals, that always helps because you can get small wins on the way to the bigger win. Momentum. Momentum is extremely important in anything that you're trying to create for your life. So last thing I'll say is the stretch goal. Oh, my stretch goal this year is to read 100 books. So I'm going to read a hundred books and I'm going to create a project behind that as well too, to make it even more difficult for myself. And really it's because I love reading. I love 
um, just feeding my mind, but I'm going to be doing something and I'll let you know about it uh, in maybe the next video or the next video. It's a super exciting project, just a passion project of mine for retaining all the books I read and sharing those books with people. So that's gonna be my stretch goal to read 100 books. So that's gonna be like two books a week and it's gonna be amazing. I'm, I'm super thrilled to do it. I love reading and, and educating myself and learning. So I don't think I'll need a lot of motivation to do it. It's just, I gotta be more efficient at reading, finding the times within my day. I've actually been already thinking about how I'm gonna do this strategically. And it's gonna be reading a certain amount in the morning, reading at lunch, and then reading in the evening. So I can hit about three hours a day of reading. So I kinda wanna go above and beyond the goal of 100 books, but that's the stretch goal I have for this year. I've set up my finance goals, my side business project, passion project goals. I set up my social goals and I'm still refining and tweaking and making things uh, all fit within um, the whole ecosystem of 2020 planning. And I, the last thing I'll suggest to you, I know we're almost at, we're at 11 minutes now, is it's really fun for me to plan with someone that is very similar minded to myself. So doing that 2020 goal setting and planning and mission and objectives for yourself and what you want to create in 2020 with someone else. I am going to do it with my brother because we work together on a lot of things. We support each other. We help each other. We are there and accountable towards each other. When it comes to fitness, I went through his whole fitness journey with him. It was amazing when he had a goal to get a six pack. I helped him lose over 50 pounds in a year and he got shredded and looked better than me. So that was amazing. We worked together. I was his accountability coach in a sense. So do, do it with someone. It's fun to do it with someone. Share your dreams, your goals, what you want to create for yourself in 2020, and then have someone to hold you accountable to helping you get towards those every single year. So I'll end there, guys. I know I shared a lot of things. Reflect on 2019, set up 2020, all the different areas of your life. Maybe start with one or two goals. Have a stretch goal. Set a theme. And then lastly, look at this stuff every day. One of the biggest mistakes that's, that people make when they set goals, and this will be the last thing and then I'll end it, guys. If you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Like this video. Share it with a friend if you think it was helpful. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I think I don't do enough of that. But again, this channel is just a video journal for myself. So if we touch one person, that's all that matters. <laughs> and again, I can look back on this in 20 years and be like, hey, kids, look at what I was doing when I was 28 years old. I started this at 18. Now I'm 28. Now I'm 58. Whatever it might be. But look at your goals, your plans every single day. Reflect, refine them. You don't just write them down and then put them in your in your in your library of books and never look at it again. You have to look at it every single day. Constantly be feeding your mind. Get yourself one of these journals and write, write, write. Write your biggest goals down every single day or just read what it is that you, writ you wrote down. So read what you wrote down, reflect and refine. And as you're going through it, you're measuring and monitoring your progress. In order to, in order to really get anywhere with any goal that you have, you have to measure the progress. How am I going to measure the progress of me reading 100 books? I'm going to have to do something every day. And then I'm going to have to look back at the end of the week and say, hey, did I read two books? No. All right. Now I'm going to have to read two and a half books to get me back up. So write all these things down, read them, look at them every single day, and just take action. And if you need to drop a goal, drop a goal. If you, if you made it too difficult, that's completely fine. Don't beat yourself up. What you're doing now is what 90% of people won't even do. So if you can do what 90% of people won't do, Think about how much more ahead you will be at the end of 2020 and you'll look back and you'll say, wow, look at how much I accomplished. Now, what am I going to do to step it up in 2021? Thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs it up, share it, subscribe. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your year. Thanksgiving is around the corner. Enjoy the time with your family. Enjoy the time with your friends. Friendsgiving, oh yeah, you can always do that too. Be thankful for the things that you've created in 2019 and thankful for the things that are coming into your life for 2020. Positive expectation, affirmations, Keep thinking about what you want because that's how you start seeing this happen in your life faster. And have an amazing Christmas. If I don't talk to you until then, I definitely will make a video before Christmas. And I appreciate you guys so much. If you, if you watched one video, if this is the first video of tuning in to Dane's Great Journey, thank you for tuning in. Dane's Great Journey, it's a YouTube channel documenting everything I do in my life. And then I have a podcast, Young, Wild, and Rich. You can check that out if you want. It's just YWR Podcast. Thank you so much, guys. You rock and keep crushing it. Talk to you soon.